Hello. So uh, we are here today to discuss the informal assessment that was given to Katie. Uh, one of her IEP goals was that she be able to construct a sentence of at least six words with minimal uh, punctuation and grammatical errors uh, with 80% accuracy. And so I chose to give Katie a sentence starter um, sorry, not a sentence starter, but a story starter. Um, and so she was asked to, um, she was given a story prompt that um, asked her to um, elaborate on a story prompt with, I opened my eyes and I had no idea where I was. And then she was instructed to just continue with that writing prompt. And as I was looking at her response, um, I decided to use a rubric to be able to let me know how she did in particular on this assignment. And um, so I was looking at different skills. I was looking at capitalization, punctuation, sentence structure, neatness, and grammar. And um, with her capitalization, um, I did notice that Katie was able to use correct capitalization where needed. She always started her sentence with a capital capital letter. And um, with punctuation, um, she uh, scored a two on this area. So that means um, a two on the rubric was that she missed several punctuation rules, including sentence endings. So for example, she left off some periods, um, in one area, she put a period where there should have been a question mark. And so since there were several area, uh, errors on that area, I went ahead and gave her a two for that score. For a sentence structure, she um, mainly constructed simple sentences. And to be able to score a four in this area, she was going to need to write simple, complex, and compound sentences, which... I feel like that's a little lofty for Katie at this point in time, but um, I was happy with the fact that she was able to uh, demonstrate for me the ability to write a simple sentence. So we scored a two on that area. And then for neatness, uh, she has very good spacing with her handwriting and she's very neat uh, and tidy with her letters. Um, as far as grammar goes, um, she had several spelling errors in the writing prompt and her verb tense in different uh, sentences was incorrect. For example, one, one verb, she was uh, needing to use the past tense with an ED and she did not. So um, in that error, uh, in that area, we um, were only able to give her a one in that, in that um domain. So um, basically what this tells us about Katie is, uh, first of all, she was very cooperative and willing to participate in the assessment, which is um, pretty typical of her. Um, she was focused and, you know, anything I asked her to do, she was right on it. Um, like I said, she has very neat handwriting and she's able to space and write in a straight line. Um, um, I think, you know, especially with sentences that do not end in a period, she definitely knows that something besides a period goes on the end, but we need to work on what exactly that is, whether it's an um, exclamation or a question mark, which, you know, we can work on that with identifying question words and things like that. Um, I feel like this was a good um, assessment for Katie in um, correlation with her goal, but I do feel like maybe next time we need to stick with one sentence instead of having her complete a whole story starter. So maybe just looking at one sentence and trying to fix the mistakes um, since that was a weakness for her in her um, evaluation. Uh, her tendency was to try to find mistakes that weren't there. And so I think uh, that wouldn't be a good starting point and maybe progress up to the story starter. And um, so that's really all I would change. Um, I do feel like this was pretty accurate and uh, shows that we do need to still work on this with Katie and um, just simplify things a little bit for her um, in the future and going forth from here. So that's all I have. Thank you.